from playing his music, loving him unconditionally yeah. after even after the trial mm-hmm. to mute R. Kelly. They there was a DJ, there was a DJ on a cruise ship about two weeks ago who made the news. Like a cruise ship DJ made the news <laughs> because he was out of the loop. He was on you know, when all this stuff was happening, he was at sea and he played an R. Kelly song and they were not happy. Yeah. And you know, he he wanted to, nobody here really wants him to tour. He tried to tour or make a teaser that he was touring overseas, and Australia basically said, nah, we don't want you either. Oh, yeah, I remember that. And yeah. so, you know, he's he's probably just now realizing, like, whoa, like, this is crazy. Yeah. And, and to him, it's almost like, why aren't y'all, y'all are trying to ruin me, and why aren't y'all doing this? It's almost like, I would feel the same way if I had already gone through this and been forgiven publicly and now everybody wants cuz it's like think about it. He, in his mind he's like, "Man, like I already I already done went to went to trial for this 14-year-old girl stuff a long time ago and they yeah. still love me, they still bumping my yeah. music." Yeah. But this time it's like, "No, we mm-hmm. don't. We're not messing with it." Yeah. And so he's like, "Yo, like He's seeing he's seeing the dollar signs mm-hmm. kind of make that difference. He's kind of broke and he's <laughs> well he can you know, well, wasn't he supposed to have mom? some money to right. to yeah. his ex wife by the end of the day or something? Yeah, he was supposed. Yeah. I mean, he owes his he owes his ex wife child support a hundred ninety thousand yeah. in child yeah. support and at he this point. Pay that right? Then he's back in jail. I mean, he couldn't <laughs> he couldn't pay his bail. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not gonna lie, that was funny. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, like, come on, man. What really happened to all your money? Like you have all this money and you sell all these records over years. Well, like, how many babies does he have? Oh, oh Lord. A hundred and sixty thousand dollars <laughs> worth. I believe he has two. But he, he ain't he ain't been paying for a long time. I think they need gonna need that money to change their name. <laughs> God. I think he has three kids. Three? Yeah. Okay. It was the two three. girls and, and the, boy. the boy with, um, mm-hmm. what's her face? Why am I blanking on her name? Um, his ex-wife. Drea. Drea. Mm-hmm. Yes, Drea. Drea. Wait a minute. Yes. So there's yes. three kids and how many babies' mothers? Oh, two? God, I, don't know. I think. Two, two babies' mothers. I think mothers. it's just two. <laughs> oh. so which, or, is it Drea, or does Drea have all the kids? I think Drea has, has all, the all the kids. Has all the kids. Okay. So he has, all right. he has all the kids with one girl? Yes. And, as far and, as, and, as, far as I know. How much is he paying? How much is he paying a month? Dude? None. Oh, nothing. He ain't paying nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> that's, that's why he's in jail. He can't pay us. He had to go <laughs> back to jail. <laughs> right. <laughs> he's paying <laughs> nothing. Good question. Well, well, let me rephrase that. How much is he supposed to pay? I don't it's know. 160000 last I read today. Yeah. That's the total. I believe that's the total. he is broke. <laughs> <laughs> well, he here's that stuff like it was a joke. But here's a fun fact, though. So everybody is asking the same question as you, like, mm-hmm. what about the royalties and stuff like that? Yeah. Like from so, a little fun fact. Mm-hmm. After mm-hmm. the Aaliyah shenanigans, oh. um, because, you know, the Aaliyah's family has spoken out, not even against what they were saying about him and Aaliyah, but they just kind of didn't want anything to do with it. Mm-hmm. Um, but... After that whole marriage shenanigan, he actually signed away all his songwriting royalties to Aaliyah's family. Really? Yes. So wow. even though really? Aaliyah is deceased, um, her family is still getting royalties from oh. every song he's ever written. Wow. So um, I don't know the percentage. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they're getting his entire cut or uh-huh. if they're just getting a cut from from everything. But little fun fact, he's not getting all those royalties. Hmm. So, hmm. you know, it's you know. that's that hush hush, you know. <laughs> I guess it makes sense why he is broke because right. that's a lot of money that he he's has missing to out give on to Leah's family. Well, so. well, here's the here's the other eight hundred pound gorilla in the room. So, how can these parents hmm. really look themselves in the mirror? Because I, I now this is just what I'm thinking happened. So your your daughter your meets R. Kelly at some concert or some venue, and then the parents are like, oh, my God, oh, my God, she's a singer. R. Kelly's oh, yeah, 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 okay, I'm going to take, take care of her. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And then mm-hmm. they, they just pretty much relinquish their parental rights right. and, and just send, send their 13- or 14-year-old girl to wherever she's going to be. Now, mm-hmm. also, he had a statement in the paper about eight hours ago, five hours ago, rather, mm-hmm. that said, why would the parents allow 
their, their children daughters. to come with him. Right. Right. I, I'm paraphrasing, of course. To be sold. Right. Did he to, say to be right. sold? He said sold. To be, yeah. Right, right, yeah. right. Sold so to a man. What, yeah. what do you guys think about that? Okay. Actually, I'm going to take it a step further because I want to hear from you, Danielle. Yeah. F- from a journalist's perspective, mm-hmm. would you have dug a little bit more into the parents' motives mm-hmm. after seeing the documentary? Yes. Oh, of course. Yes. Yeah. That was one of the that was like one of the main reasons why I didn't want to finish the documentary because mm-hmm. I was like, this does not make any sense now. Right. Like, he like back in the nineties and before then, like at that time people were like, What is this man doing? Like right. they didn't really believe it. But then as it kept on happening more and more and more and then as we get into like the two thousands, mm-hmm. even like what was it, six years ago yeah. when he was having that what was it? Um, <laughs> the what was the house um, that was in Atlanta? Oh um, yeah, I forgot. Uh, yeah, but I know what yeah. you're talking about. You know, he had that big that that a lot whatever. going yeah. on. Yes. <laughs> so then I was like, okay, so these girls are old enough to know mm-hmm. that R. Kelly has just had a huge history with you know pornography mm-hmm. and you know sexual harassment and assault. Um. So why are the parents not getting involved with right. their kids and, you know, telling them, I, you cannot go over there, mm-hmm. um, I don't want you to go over there. Why are they not stepping in and, you know, protecting their kids from this? I get that, mm-hmm. you know, children rebel because they're going to do what they're going to do, but it's like at the same time, it's like, why are the parents not stepping in? So that's where I look at it, like, I think it's more of a parental issue yes because these kids are st- are young enough to not really know what the heck they're doing but they're old enough to still know um Absolutely. yeah so did i answer your question I yeah okay. no you did yeah because you know i i love to hear different perspectives because i didn't want to be too harsh because mm-hmm. after the documentary it's like you feel for the victims. Mm-hmm. And, like, of course I felt for the parents yeah. when when they spoke. But at the same time, it's like you really have to take a little bit more responsibility mm-hmm. for your role in all this. Yeah. Because, for ex- for example, Azriel, she's a she's an up-and-coming singer mm-hmm. at this point. She, when she was f- 15 or 16, they yeah. take her to an R. Kelly concert. R. Kelly spots her out mm-hmm. and wants to meet her, you know, mm-hmm. backstage. That's that's red flag number one yes. for me. Mm-hmm. If I first of all, I don't even know if I'm taking my teenage daughter to an R. Kelly concert. <laughs> oh, never did, no. And if I do, <laughs> and that man said, "Oh, I want to meet," no, right now, I don't care if I'm with her or not. Yeah, take it a step further. Mm-hmm. Now he wants to help her with her career, yeah. and mm-hmm. I, I know the situation was she didn't tell her parents that she was going off to the hotel to meet with him. Uh-huh. But it's like once the parents got there, they didn't go crazy. Exactly. It, it, yeah, to which the I point, was confused. Right. <laughs> I did not understand that at all. And right. It, it felt like it was. I don't even know if it was a cry for help from the parents, but it's like, why aren't you going in there and grabbing your daughter and getting out of the house? Right. Because if you it was can, me, oh yeah, my mama snatch you up. Yeah, <laughs> my mama would have walked all the way to the dough. Mm-hmm. And she would have opened it, mm-hmm. and she would not have cared who couldn't talk to each other in that house, how yeah. they were operating. She would have yelled, Amber, wherever you at, bring your black behind down here, because we going home. <laughs> right. It would have been over. Yeah. And I'm just surprised to see that, you know, those parents don't have that same energy. They talk mm-hmm. about going to the property and trying to call the cops, but if my parents were involved, there wasn't going to be no cops. They mm-hmm. were going to bust down that door mm-hmm. until they saw me, waited outside until I walked, you know, because yeah. they travel often and stuff like that. So, you yeah. know, you, you can't help but well, kind of look at that. Well, you know, the, the the other thing that I was looking at is, and, and I guess depending on the statute of limitations and mm-hmm. and the laws, the laws in Illinois and so forth, but... Um, I, I'm wondering, is anyone looking at any type of child neglect or child abuse uh, situations against the parents? Mm, yeah. Because uh, certainly the rumors were out about R. Kelly a long time ago now. Right. You know, and and, then, and certainly when it gets to the point where you're hearing about, I mean, for a, a long time, people were talking about he had this harem of girls and yeah. he was keeping people against their will and all that mm-hmm. kind of stuff. So I'm just wondering, is that... 
being considered. Mm. Uh, but but again, not knowing the laws in Chicago, in Illinois, and, and so forth and so on, and all the details of these cases, uh, I, I wonder if that's something that they are considering. Because, uh, like you all said, here you have a fourteen or fifteen year old daughter. And you don't think that's odd that I, I can't I can't see you on certain days and right, haven't yeah. heard from you in two or three weeks. I mean, see, that would have never gone down. though. Right. And, yeah. and then I remember the one case when, on the special that they showed mm-hmm. the couple in Florida. Mm-hmm. Now, Ezreal's you know, parents. Yeah, yeah. Right. And, and so the, the thing that just still sticks out with me is when they were asking about certain concerns they had. And they were like, oh, we're just going to put, you know, we're going to put uh, Amber with your, your daughter, and she's going to be fine. Oh, okay, works for me. Yeah, no way. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, way. that works for me. No way. Right, yeah. and, and, I, I, and I just don't, I, I don't understand that. So no. there's culpability all the way around on this. Absolutely. But, yeah. but, but my other thing that I want to know is, does did he seem to have a type of girl that he yes that yeah. he preyed on yes young petite <laughs> yeah oh yeah yeah you're right. young <laughs> yeah young petite but looking you know all of them weren't young though some of them were were adults oh uh, like and Kitty older and, and yeah mm-hmm. and some were some so but yeah. they all were needy mm-hmm. um yeah. mm-hmm. uh, some you know didn't seem you know um, didn't seem like you know a lot was going on upstairs yeah. right. On a yeah. couple of them, and some, you know, you're like, "Whoa, wait a minute!" And then, of course, the other ones were young and impressionable. Yep. Uh, right. Being lured into the to the thought of uh, being uh, made a star, and mm-hmm. um, and all of that. And of course, we we haven't seen any albums or records from any of them. Right. Anybody mentioned yeah. anybody. other than Aaliyah? Nobody. Not right. one right. note. Yep. Nobody. Yeah. I was. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Oh, no, go um, for it. I wanted to tag on what you were saying, Wendell, about um, the how R. Kelly got smart with attracting older women, mm. um, mm-hmm. since he knew that he had to, you know, get away from the young Diversified ones. Diversified a you little. You know, so <laughs> he he went after women that were old enough to know what they were doing, but still. Um, they maybe had some issues within their family, like maybe they mm-hmm. didn't have a dad around, or mm-hmm. you know they had a rough childhood, so mm-hmm. they weren't receiving, um, you know, the type of love that they wanted when they were growing up. Mm-hmm. So now they're in you know early adult life when they're like, well, I guess you know I got to find a man that will you know treat me right behind quote with quotes right. um you know mm, i right. choose r kelly <laughs> right like i don't think right. i would i pick somebody different right, right. But, how how yeah. bad does your life right. have to be right yeah it's like <laughs> to subject gotten, yourself yeah, to that and and right. the, and the reality is that there are folks who you know we're sitting uh, we're we're sitting back in the you know looking on right but but what we really don't know is where a lot of these folks come from right uh or what they are coming out of and sometimes what looks ridiculous to us is is it makes perfect sense a hell of a lot better than what they were doing i don't know if that's the case here Mm -hmm. but um but i don't know you know when he talks about people being free to leave and Mm. and 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 not leaving and like and you know and and sometimes people parents can cry on the television but uh uh, giving their kids hell in the house. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't know. I'm not, and I'm, by God knows, I'm not. I'm condoning. not supporting him or condoning him at all because mm-hmm. he's preying on folks who are really in need, yeah. who are really in pain, mm-hmm. and who are really looking for some kind of way out. So that, mm-hmm. in and of itself, that manipulation, that mm-hmm. that um, uh, ab- abuse, that yeah. manipulation is just is just uh, uh, deplorable. Definitely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and then of course you had two of the living girlfriends that are saying that everyone's lying as well. Right. Mm-hmm. But uh, you have to consider the source there right. also. I mean, they're being brainwashed. These are the same girls who haven't seen their families, and I don't know how long. And to the point that you raised earlier, should something happen to uh, Robert Kelly uh, <laughs> and, and Robert. whatever house they're living in, what happens to that? If he goes to jail, where are they going to go? Right. You know, yeah. to the point that you raised earlier. So so they have a vested interest in trying to do something because they got to at least till they find somewhere else to go. It's it's yeah. crazy. The whole situation is crazy. It is. Yeah. And, 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 and at the end of the day, you really have to. To think about the 
the youngsters who have been impacted by this yeah. because right. they are going to be scarred forever.